It's seven o'clock on Monday, Mystery Card Monday. You're on Tamara's Paper Trail. I am Tamara. Who are you? Yay, I'm back. I'm back. Did you miss me? I missed you. It was, it's, I, how can it, I don't know. It feels like it's been months. It's only been like two weeks. Hi, Shayla. Actually, I did go live on Friday morning. So I know some of you caught me off for my uh, coffee break on Friday morning. So I have been live since I've been back, but I haven't done a mystery card Monday in ages. Now, thank you to those who did, um, who did participate. I had posted some challenges, some sketch challenges, and some of you did play along. So thank you for that. Didn't want to leave you completely without card making opportunities. So, um, yeah, I had schedules and posts while I was away. Oh, look, all the people are flooding in. Shayla and Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. Uh, oh, that's so nice, Shayla. Thank you. Well, right, because uh, Lori was gone too, right, Shayla? So you were like left all alone. Hi, Wendy, Marcella, Jennifer. Hello. Hello. Let's give another shout from Gerald. <laughs> There's Jen L is in the house and Jennifer P. We got all the Jens in the house. Hi, Coral. Hey, how are you? Everybody's probably squeezing the last little bit of camping into the summer that they can. Crazy. Today's walk was so good. It was so cool. Um, I got to wear my sweater. I got a new sweater that I just adore. <laughs> it's that perfect weight. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It's just perfect. So we walked further than usual today. So it's excellent. There's Nikki. Hello. Hi, Nancy. Yes. Well, Nancy Norlands was fantastic. Hi, Paulette. It was, it was all the things. Yeah. I gained four pounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm, sure did. And yeah, it's not just water. Trust me. It's four solid pounds. Hey, Mandy. Oh, excellent. I'm glad. Hello, Mandy's daughter. Chris Stones is here from Australia and Sheila Keith. Hello. I miss talking to you guys. Um, do I look well rested? I feel like I look well rested. I slept the last couple of oh the the last couple of nights I've slept really well. Um, I think I mentioned on Friday and I've mentioned a few times like it's been a pretty heavy couple of weeks. Um, hey Nikki, just listening. Retired stuff. Yes, you do. Um, yeah, I, the pressure though is gone. I all the things have been dealt with, all the lifing, all the adulting, all the parenting. It's all kind of put to bed, and it it always it always comes in waves, right? Um, so yeah, I've I've really been relaxing the last week and a half. I have been working. You see all the posts, um, but it's been leisurely, and it's been stuff I've wanted to do. Hi, Carol. Hello, Cherie. Hello. Thank you, Shayla. Ah, there's Tracy, who looks like it's Tamara's paper trail. So if anybody sees Tamara's paper trail floating up, that's Tracy commenting. Tracy's an admin on this page um, in case I ever get locked out <laughs> and I forget my password. Tracy can maybe, if I'm nice to her, let me back in. So hi, Barb McLeod. Jody, hello. Good evening. Thanks for popping in. And we, uh, I've been uh, I've been relaxing hard. Um yeah, watching shows, doing some other adulting cleanup things like, you know, I called Shaw. That's always fun, right? To cancel my TV and cancel my phone. I don't know what I'm going to do without watching the news at night. Although I feel like I'm going to be happier. <laughs> I used to watch the national every night at bedtime and um, yeah, no more. I So, you know, all those kind of adulting things is like, uh, you know, you got to call the bank for this and oh, all that on hold stuff. But there's Gail. Hello. Yes. Thank you, Sheila. Um, You know what? So those admin issues that I think I had, I think I might've caused them. I'm not really sure what happened there. Things were looking weird to me and they might still look weird, but it was really early and I was under caffeinated. I think what happened is I think I sort of set up two factor authentication. Is that a word? Author two factor authentication, but I don't think I finished setting it up. So I think it wasn't letting me do things until I logged in. I don't know what I did. I, I changed something trying to protect my page, but apparently it protected it from me because I'm a danger to myself. <laughs> so I don't know what happened but when I came downstairs it's still letting me stream to here so I don't know I, as long as it's working I'm good so <laughs> Call, hey Heather hello hanging out at the Starbucks watching Tamara's paper trail because that's how it's done doesn't matter if you're on holidays you get yourself some wi-fi and you pop into my mystery card Monday <laughs> shout out to Heather thanks for popping in hun there's Brenda hello all right so I'm gonna do a little bit of shameless plugging right here right now sure am sure am because it's my show and I can do what I want Almost, oh, Kim. 
Uh, yes, it's holiday here too. It's Labor Day. I know. I know. But hey, I still work on Labor Day because my job isn't work. My job is fun and it's play. Mm -hmm. I know, right? I'm dead. From okay. You know, you know, you know, have you missed that? As soon as I go live, my nose, I think I'm just allergic to, I don't know, lives. Okay. So here's what I did this week. Uh, yesterday, y'all helped me out so much on this card. I love, okay. So I've got this class coming up October 7th. I got all kinds of classes coming up. Where's my other class? Wait, wait. Are you sick to death of seeing this class? I bet you are. I've been promoting this one for ages. Maybe that's why I have 15, 16 people signed up for it. Hugely, hugely popular. I had to cut more. Um, I usually max out, you know, I usually say cut around um, 11 packets. Labrador day. <laughs> Close enough. Labrador. Lab yeah, sure. Labrador. Labor. Whatever. <laughs> um, anyway, I've cut extra packets. I have only five left. I've cut... I cut 12 originally and then another eight and I only have five left. Like this class is off the hook. Uh, it is my gathered wheat uh, class that is coming up on the 22nd of September. You'd think I know how much it was. I want to say it's $80. I don't know how much it is. Uh, gathered wheat. Yes, it's $80 porch pickup, $90. Anyway, there's options. You've, you've heard me talk about this for months. I still have five packets left. Thank you, Jody. If you'd like in on it, $90 long distance. If you have the bundle already, you can swap out. The best deal by far is to take the bundle because essentially the class is, is more or less free for that. Um, but if you already have the gathered wheat bundle, uh, you can swap it out for any other bundle of $65.50 or any other product for $65.50. That's your best deal. You can also swap out uh, just the stamp set if you don't want the dies but you like the stamp set. You can get it $40 perch pickup, $50 long distance. And if you want just the class, it's $35. So you can see how it would be the be better deal to get a stamp set and the card class than a $35 card class. But that's an option. That's coming up September 23rd. Woo! Go me perched in a tree so these are my this is my next class that's coming like October 7th you guys I'm so I say I'm I'm ahead but I have so much coming down the pipe in the fall that I'm I'm ahead of the game ah, touch wood and doing well so this is my next class now this one is $90 porch pickup 100 long distance and it's not my fault I'm not like gouging you guys the bundle is 72.75 so you throw in $10 shipping 10% minimum uh, or 5% minimum GST and it gets up there, right? So I don't make a lot of money off these classes. I'm not, I'm not just going, Hey, let's make it a hundred dollar class. It's $90 per pickup, hundred dollars long distance, just because that extra shipping, same deal. You can swap it out for another bundle of Sony 275 or different product for that amount. Um, okay. You guys are having a sidebar. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so these are the three cards. So this one, Kindness warms my heart. So I try to vary things. I use just the, what's in the stamp set for these. But of course, you can swap out for any sentiment you like. But because I don't know what everybody has, I try to keep within the limits of the um, stamp set. So this one is Kindness warms my heart. I love this card. I'm going to be die cutting from now until October 7th to get all these pieces to you. Because I do all the hard work, you guys. I do all the heavy lifting. This one, I hope I have enough paper. Hmm. We'll see. Anyway, love this one. I'm here for you. And this one. It's so much prettier in person, um, that paper. This is our glimmer paper. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, we did have the debate yesterday, and thank you to everybody who commented on which one was their favorite. Um, I mean, you can stamp the sentiment in whatever color you want, so there's that option, too, if you'd rather have red. Uh, ew, Jody, I can, I can only do PDFs to the U.S. I can't send product, and I'm pretty sure Jennifer V., I think you know, I can't, we can't do card class. Can we do card classes across the border? I'll have to check into that, Jody. I don't think I can. I don't think any product can cross the border and that means the card classes. I think only PDFs and I don't do PDFs. So sadly, no, no. Oh, Donna Curling, oh dear me. Okay, anyway, this is um, this is the cutest little card. I love this one. So thanks to everybody who commented on that. And I've seen a lot more names popping up on comments lately, so I love that. Thank you for commenting. Uh, oh, deadline for this to order is, I don't know, September 19? Mm, I don't know, I forget. Read, read my posts. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, get, oh, working up a sweat now. Okay, PDF only. Thank you, Jennifer, I thought so. Yeah, sorry, Jody, but thank you for your interest. Um, if you have any Canadian friends, let them know. <laughs> all right. Should we get doing some stamping here? I think those were my shameless plugs for the day. That's it. I think that's all I've got for right now.
that's what I've been working on and PDFs. Oh, one more. I'll show you what I, I just whipped this off in the last 15 minutes. This is my, when people order through me, um, at the end of the month, I send tutorials. I was sending cards as a thank you for placing an order with me. I couldn't keep up. So now I send PDFs at the end of the month. So everybody who orders gets what's called an easy tutorial. So they're quick and easy cards um, that a beginner can do. So uh, even if you're an avid stamper like me, you need quick and easy layouts and you'll get that PDF if you order for me in the month of, that one is for the month of October. I'm ahead of the game. Like crazy, crazy. All right. Hi, Rebecca. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, that's what I thought, Sheila. Thank you. You guys, you guys always, you know more than I do. I don't know. I just talk a good game. <laughs> All right. So tonight's layout. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. And can I tell you a secret? We've done it before. Yep, we have. I was snooping through my Pinterest board and my old cards and I went, you know what? I love this layout. It uses a lot of our designer paper and I've got so much of it. I'm doing it again and I'll see if anybody even notices. And I bet you all won't. Maybe you will. I don't know because it was about a year ago that I did this layout. So let's get started. If you have your pieces prepped, if not, I've rambled for 11 minutes and that's giving you plenty of time to cut. <laughs> so we are going to start with our standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half. We are going to take that. We're going to cut it or cut it in half. We're going to fold it in half. Hopefully you prepped two um, so that you can make two. And I think I'm going to make two. Why not? Bone folder. Nice crisp edge. I'm going to make two because I actually, I'm going to make four of this one. Because you know why? <laughs> because I cut four. And if I don't do it now with you guys, it won't get done. And as always on Mystery Card Monday, these layouts are meant to be quick and easy, and they really are about five minute cards. Once you've done the prep, it only takes about five minutes, um, but I make it an hour because I like to talk. <laughs> What's the name on my Pinterest board? Ooh, Jody. You can check out Tamara's paper trail. Sure. <laughs> everything, almost everything I do is Tamara's paper trail. So on Pinterest, on, um, What's that other place? Instagram. I don't post very much on Instagram. All I tend to do is block military men uh, and uh, military men, what have doctors, um, yeah, men in suits who I'm sure are very, very interested in card making. Hey, Christine. Hello. Hello. Thanks for popping in. All right. There we go. We got four of these. Now, next up, you need designer paper pattern one. This one, I said subtle. This isn't the most subtle uh, subtle pattern going on, but it's more subtle than designer. Okay, stop that. Than designer paper number two, which is more of a bold. So this one is four by five and a quarter. So if you're cutting your 12 by 12 paper, you're going to cut it. First, you're going to turn it and cut it at four and a quarter. And then you're going to cut it at four, four, four. It's going to make the best use of your um, of your designer paper. So I cut a whole sheet up. So that's what I did. I cut up a whole bunch. Actually, I have five of them here. So I only need four. So one, two, three, four. Now this paper is from the Santa something or other. I don't know what it's called. Why would I? <laughs> hey, Melissa. Hey, Carmen. Hello. The men in suits always want. I know, right, Sheila? Yeah, I'm sure they all want to make cards. I'm sure they do. This is the Santa paper. Santa Express is the name of this paper. And I don't have the stamp set or the bundle. So let's just take a peek at that again. That's page 17. Um, it is one of the very few items in this catalog I don't have. I couldn't see me using this stamp set, so I don't own it yet. You know what's going to happen. Um, three days before it retires, I'm going to want it. So I don't have it, but I do have the paper and all the other things that go with it. Hi, Leslie. Hello. Um... But I bought the paper, and I like the paper. So this just goes to show you that you can make really nice cards without having the coordinating stamp set. So we're going to start off with this four by five and a quarter. We're going to attach that to the card base. So if this is your first time watching, you'll know that I, or you'll notice that I use my silicone mat when I am... Um, when I use my adhesive, it's the only way I seem to consistently be able to get this thing to work <laughs> without it. Okay, everybody move over, move over. Um, if you start like sometimes, okay, of course it'll work every time when I don't Nope, it's going to work every time now. If you ever have a trouble starting your, your adhesive, 
if you do it on the silicone mat, if you start off the paper, every time it will work. And the adhesive doesn't stick to the silicone mat. So that's my, that's my top, one of my top tools that I use is my silicone mat. Since I started using that with this new adhesive, I say new, it's what, two years old already? Hi, Melanie, hello. You've been playing with the Rebecca C. Will you? Yeah, it is cute. That's the thing. I tend, I like traditional cards. I don't know. I'm sure I'll end up owning it. You know what's next on my list is the gingerbread bundle. I don't have that either. And I had some free spending and I had half price items. I'm like, nope, don't want it. Don't need it. And then was it you, Rebecca? Was it you who said you better check out what uh, Rachel Tessman made? And I'm like, darn you. No, I want the set. Anyway, if fair is fair. I always enable others to buy things that they didn't think they wanted either. So, <laughs> All right. So now I've got my four. I've done my four bases. Next up, designer paper number two. Now this is a more bold pattern, two and a half by three and a quarter. That's okay, Melanie. Use the silicone mat to start off the Stampin' Up! Sta yes, Heather. I've got another tip for you tonight, Heather. I sure do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, Sandra Marshall watching from Ontario. Hey, Amy. You are late to the party, but that's okay. I rambled for the first 11 minutes. All I've done is this so far. All right, so um, this is the bold paper. We don't need those usual tools and banishments. What do we got here? Scrap. We don't need this. Let's get some of this. Clean up my desk here. Clean up my area. All right. So next we've got these two pieces, the layers, which are the mats for these two pieces. So this one, two and three quarters by three and a half is going to mat this. And then I've got cardstock is two and a quarter by two and five eighths, right? On the Donna Rulu, Donna Rulu that's two and a half and two ticks. Two and five eighths, which is two and a half. Come on, no, two and a half and two ticks. Anyway, gotta trust. There we go. Don't no. Oh, it wants. That's why it wants to read, but it's back there. there no. Anyway, two and a half and two ticks. Oh lord. Come on. It's been messing with me today all day. It wants to focus on that. I think. Stop it. <laughs> all right. And say no I don't want to focus on anything fine it's trying no oh, bother all right here's the Donna ruler for those of you who want to order one on Amazon easy read ruler Victor won't focus on that either eh? oh there we go if I turn it over yeah there we go two and five eighths is two and a half oh, screw you <laughs> anyway those are gonna mat like that this one we've got two and a quarter two and five eighths Two and a half, two and seven eighths. So that's three less two ticks. All right. So that's all the hard math. Oh, I didn't cut more of these. Oh, dang it. All right. So I'm going to layer these pieces together. Oh, Kim New Orleans was off the rails. It was so fun. I could have, I could have used a few more days there in theory, but honestly, so now I'm going to tape these together. Um, by Friday night, it was like, oh, I'm all social doubt. To go from not being in person with more than one person ish for like the better part of two and a half, three years to nonstop blah, 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 the, the squealing, the hugging, the, the chaos, the, the drinking, the socializing, like from Tuesday, Tuesday at 4 a.m. By Friday night, I was like, oh, I'm so tired. And my throat was killing me because all I was doing, like we were loud talking and it wasn't like, oh my gosh. Anyway, it was so fun. It was so fun. So fun. Okay. So I have all these pieces. One, So I have one, two, three more, but I forgot to cut my green. So I'm going to cut my green right now. And so this has to be two and three quarters by three and a half. I knew that prep seemed a little easier than usual. So this color that I'm using is the garden green. No, it's not. It's shaded spruce. Hang on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, I would, uh, I would like to have done a few more things in New Orleans, but is your Stampin' Up! business all online or is it half and half? Right now, Jody, it is 95% online. It used to be 95% uh, in person and COVID changed all that. And now where are we going here? Let me just cut this two and three quarters, two and three quarters by three and a half, three and a half. Uh, and right now I'm hesitant to go back to in-person 
just because uh, my fam family dynamics right now don't really have me set up to be able to do very much um, in person. Um, I, I help out my mom and dad. Now I'm going to two days a week. So every Wednesday and now Fridays, I'm going over to help out um, and hang out with them. And it's just, yeah, it's not working out so good. So two and seven eighths um, to be able to to do in person the my daughter um my eldest is in college and she has a workstation set up down here in the basement now she's in person at college for the most part uh but she she does still have her her stuff set up down here because she will be doing um some online down here so i just i don't have the, the space in my house and yeah the whole thing so okay now one more thing i just need my card stock so two and a quarter by two and five eighths two and a quarter by two and uh one two three four five eighths two two and five eighths how did you find me jody i'm silver elite mm-hmm Struggling with online, hey, Sheila. So, two and five, two and a quarter. Um, yeah, it depends on where you where you are uh, as far as who's doing well with online and who's not. Um, it's tricky. It's it's there's there's a, a huge learning curve, as you know, of those of you who tried to watch my lives when <laughs> when the pandemic first landed. Oh, that was good, right? Good times with me trying to figure out technology. Good time. Um, I have, I, oh, that's a whole other conversation for another day. I better think before I speak, but yeah, I've got a few things in the works, uh, Sheila, stay tuned on that. And Jody, I'm assuming you're demonstrated because you know all the, lang the lingo. <laughs> so I might be doing a little bit more. I have another Facebook group that I think, um, demonstrators are going to be interested in. But I have to I have to go on a few more walks with my dog to figure out what's going on with that. Uh, for anybody who's actually playing along tonight, I do apologize. I'm making four, so you're probably going. Okay, what's the next step, Tamara? So I am attaching all of these together, and now I've got three more of these to go. I'm a pro, right, Carmen? I am a pro. Now I just get rattled when my account locks me out of me. It doesn't recognize me as being an admin on my own page that I created. <laughs> I've been ousted. But my own Facebook page. Okay, these need to go away. Yes. So, Jody, how did you find me? Tell me more. Tell me more. Is it New Orleans related? I'm thinking people were maybe um, looking for the uh, hashtag of backstage. Uh, because I uh, there's there are a lot of people this week that are new to my page. I'm like, hmm, how did that happen? I don't know how that happened. But I'm always curious to see how people find me. When I'm hanging out in my basement in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. All right. I pre-cut these little guys. So these little Santas are from one of the other patterns in that paper. So now we're going to assemble. This is where you get to do whatever you want. But this is where I show you what I, what I did. Uh, so I started off with this. Brought in my presents. He's going like this. Then I brought in my next layer. He's going down here. What's the matter? Sorry, my dog's in here and he's kind of whimpered. Do you want to go out? He's locked in here. And then I'm going to put my little Santa here. Do you want to go out, Koda? Hey, are you okay? He's not asking. No, okay, he's locked in here with me. All right, so this is how I'm going to configure mine. But you can do, I mean, whatever you want, obviously. It's your card. Do you want to go out, Koda? Okay. Uh, totally up to you, but this is the configuration I like. Now I do need a sentiment. So kind of forgot that part for that. I'm bringing in this piece of paper and I'm bringing in a set that I don't know if anybody's used other than me. <laughs> Where are you? Here's a set. I'm happy that it sees it's seen ink. Yes, it's coming Barb or Barbara. Uh, the jingle, jingle, jingle. So I'm going with the believe you guys know, that stand, um, cards have to make sense to me. So I'm thinking, why is there going to be a Santa in a tree, a train? How does that look? Um, Shane, is that, yeah, Shane Spruce. 
um, and the parakeet. So it, the sentiment for this one, I mean, it could be a Merry Christmas, but then I thought, oh, perfect to have a believe. We can believe that Santa is driving a train. Why not? <laughs> okay. Uh, he heard you say walks with the dog and wants to know when you're, oh, he's not, no, yeah, he's not uh, so much like that, uh, Tracy. He, um, I think he hears the people upstairs is what he hears. All right. So this is going to go like this. So I'm going to stamp the believe. Oh, what I should do. Sorry. 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 Somebody stop me. On photopolymer sets, it is usually better to use a foam mat underneath to get a good coverage. It's not too bad if you have a hard desk like I do. And on line images like this, it's not too bad. But if you have a, um, if you have a, oh, a solid image, you're going to definitely want to have it on a, um, you got drunk on eggnog and stole the train. <laughs> Keep forgetting to come and pick up my... Yes, I know, Amy. It's still in the box. I peeked. It was still there. Silly girl. So, finish the sentence, Tamara. When you have um, images that are more solid, like this, you, you want to have the foam mat. Now, this... Okay, hang on. He does want out. You want to go out? Because he's making noises. Okay, you can go outside. Here. You can go out. Go out. There you go. You can find Dad. Oh, sorry. That's true. He, um... I closed the door because my... Somebody was playing video games and it was a little too loud. So I'm actually, I want to stamp this off because it's a little juicy. I want to see how juicy this is. That's yeah, not bad. Okay. So this is a two-step stamping set. You could leave it like this and you could color them with your blends. Or there is the inside that you can stamp. Like that. Two tone. Now I'm going to grab my little mini chopper here. Any other uses for that? I've been debating getting one. Well, Rebecca, I haven't used it yet. This is the first time it saw ink, but uh, you could certainly do some hinge stamping. You could do uh, believe, believe, believe in the magic. There's lots you can do. Check the catalog. That's always my first stop. So the jingle, jingle, jingle. Let me just show you here. This is where I usually start. And these cards are quite simple. Again, if this is your first time joining me, you'll know there's a lot of talking, very little stamping. Yep, exactly. The, the step stamping. Exactly. Yep. So here's what they did here. Uh, they've stamped the background and they've stepped it up. So this is simple. Stepped it up stepped it up more. So you can see that there's the layer. They added more designer paper behind it and then they jazzed it up with all the things. So that's where I like to start is with the catalog and see what the professionals come up with. Now I'm actually going to trim this a little bit more. I want it a little bit tighter against that sentiment. Try not to cut my nails. I'm, I'm like, oh, I have no nail polish on. Just shocking for me. I, uh, I'm, oh, that's not gonna work. I'm confused that it, oh, that was a little too close, Tamara. Oops, flew a little too close to the side of that one. Hmm. Anyway. Let's see if it'll pass, be acceptable for me. Nope, I'm gonna have to redo that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stamp it again, but this time I'm going to stamp the belief first. Foam mat. Uh, Rebecca says, oh, uh, do, 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 do. oh, for the foam mat. Oh, you have to have the foam mat. Well, yeah, for paper piercing, you need it, Rebecca. Have you never paper pierced? That's what it's originally for. And so I cut, mine are cut in half. They're twice the size. So you cut it in half, you use one for paper piercing, and then it looks like this. And then you use the other one for stamping on, which I have 19 of them over there, but... Of course, I grabbed the one that's got holes in it. So this is the way I like to do these two steps. It's easier to see if you stamp the lighter words first and then the darker outside. I find it easier to line them up like that. Paper piercing mat. You don't want paper piercing is. Oh, let me show you. See, this is how we get all squirreled and... Okay, paper piercing. So, 
let's say that we want a border on our piece of paper. So here's our piece of paper. This is paper piercing. You take your pokey tool and you poke holes. And you can make patterns. Like that. Or you could do just three in a corner instead of like if you don't have brads or something like you could just do different patterns and decorations or if you're trying to poke a hole in something to make it a tag it's just so that you're not poking your desk you can just poke and put ribbon through it right so this is a paper piercing mat now you know for your stamparatus Shayla do you okay well we actually have the foam mat for the stamparatus so yeah yeah back to my card <laughs> 731 I'm ridiculous right Okay, so I'm going to tape this layer down flat. You're welcome, Rebecca. Such a lovely name. It's my daughter's name. And my great, great grandma's name. Great, great grandma, Rebecca. Her and grandpa, here's a happy story, died of asphyxiation from their cold asphyxiation. I can't say that word very easily. Um, back in the day when they heated their little cabins with coal and uh, the, uh, the lid was open too much and uh, yeah, they died of asphyxiation. I think grandma died that night. Grandpa was in the hospital for a few weeks before he passed. Yeah, crazy, right? So anyway, my Rebecca carries her name. And I also like Beck's beer. So that had something to do with her conception. But that's a whole nother story. <laughs> so there's my little Santa. Uh, the one that came with it originally. I mean, because I... All oh, right. Okay. Stop confusing me, Shayla, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't... Uh, yeah, it was back in the day, right? Back then. Some, something got you back in the day. Okay, where's my Believe? And I am going to pop this. Where did I do? Did I put my pop those up on dimensionals too? I did. It was dimensional crazy. Now this, okay, you know my trick here. So I just popped this layer up on dimensionals. So I can't have this one, this on dimensionals, and then like it'll be skew if It'll be tilted. So you know what I do? You know, you know what I do. I put the dimensional here, like, or here, but I'm going to put it here. And then I'm going to put tape here. And that way it's going to be level when I put it down like this. So I'm going to put them over here, actually, a little off to the left. Oops, a little crooked. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Okay. <laughs> Settle down to mirror. What is going on here? I think I am going to put... I'm going to put one, there's enough room here, so I'm going to stick this guy here. A dimensional, that is. Because he wants to, he wants to float around. There we go, like that. And then, for a little bit of bling, I'm going to grab this, my take your pick tool. See if the putty is remotely sticky. And I'm going to use these, are the gems from, mm, I don't know, some sort of faceted gems. Oops. And I'm going to put two here. Two big ones here, and one big one here. Go put him over here. Ta-da! I like it. Do you like it? I like it. I think it's fun, and I love that I've made this card without having the stamp set. So here's the one I made earlier. They look virtually the same. Um, this one, there was a bit more of an angle. This was up higher. So I put the extra, good Lord, get in the field of vision. There we go. <laughs> so I put this rhinestone down here, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Now I have more because you know, I like to make sure. Oh, I was going to do the other three. Well, I got sidetracked. Okay, I'll make the other ones before I go to bed tonight because here, they're already here. So let me show you another one because there's one more that I'd like to make myself. So this is the one that started it all off. This was from my stash that we made last year. Remember this one? And I have, I'll share the post. Like, I can't share my screen because I don't know how. <laughs> 
but I'll share this when I post the pictures. When we um, did this card originally, I had one, two, three, four, five, six versions of this, and this was one of them. So I like to show the versatility of the layout, and it just has a totally different feel, a totally different look. This guy is still current. This is an old paper, but we've got neutral um, designer paper that this would work with, and you just grab any of the colors that work. Those are those. This is another one I made. So, uh, Heather, my girl, here is another tip that's coming up. So this one, I, like I'm trying to use up paper that I'm not particularly drawn to because I have it and I just essentially give it away at the end of the year. So this paper is a little complicated. This is, I don't even know what it's called, but it's busy. I didn't know what to do with it. And I thought, you know, these layouts work with I want to prove that they can work with just about any paper. So this is the pretty prints and they are very pretty, but I haven't used them yet in a card. So I dug it out and I was trying to mix and match different patterns. And in the end, I thought I love this pattern and I love how it's ombre. So I just, I, I took the sheet and I, all three pieces are from the same sheet of designer paper. So here's, here's the paper. Like, look how much I have and I need to use it. So I could do it in any of the colors. And really, I, that, that could have been the back piece. But I use, like, this could be the same, uh, the same three pieces. But this one particular piece is ombre. So you see how it's a little bit lighter in some patches? So I love that. And then so when I, I cut all three pieces from this one sheet, and I just um, made the darker well, I made it like this. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Make it lighter here, darker here, and it looks like it could be three different pieces of paper, but it all matches. So this one I used, whatever these are, <laughs> some iridescent faceted gems. Sure, why not? Uh, for this, I used my Stylish Shapes. If you don't own this, you should, okay? It's lovely. You need it. And I stamped the year on my mind is from... This, I tried to, I was trying to stamp, anyway, <laughs> this is what it ended up. I don't need to explain myself, right? So the year on my mind is there. And then I don't even know if I've used this ribbon before. That was in last year's catalog and it carried over. So this goes to show that you can use really any paper. Now, the paper I want to use tonight with you guys because you know I don't have enough stress in my day I need to I need to go live and see if I can pull this off I wanted to use the gnome stuff where's my gnomes where's my gnomies at gnomes 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 where are you gnomes hey little buddies hang on I'm looking but I'm not seeing the pigs what are the pigs doing over here oh okay I know why they're here I my gnomes. Oh, there. Got them. Yeah. Okay. Can you show the orange piece of paper in that pack? I can. There are a few. So there's the one side, and then this is the side I used, but in the other color, in the in the evergreen. So there are a few. So this, yeah. And then these back here. Okay, where? I had there they are that was really pretty and there are die cuts that we have like in the ferns we've got lots of die cuts that really mirror this paper nicely hey hanging with your gnomies yes yes okay so I want to see if I can make something with these guys because look I've got all the pieces cut I should be able to whip it together. I've got 20 minutes. How hard could it be, right? Do it, Jody. Do it. Okay. So I'm thinking. Like if I were to look at my original, I mean, I could do something like that. Like pretend, like let's just switch out the papers, right? Um, I could do the gnome. I could do the deer. Oh, the moose. Right. So this is this is how I create. Like I haven't been down here in forever, so my mojo is a little out, of, out there. So you grab a layout you know and love. 
Okay, where are my gnomes? I, cut, I thought I cut out all my gnomes. I didn't cut out all the gnomes. Did I cut out the animals? Okay, well, here's a gnome. I could just do this. All right. Anyway, here's our paper. I guess I didn't cut them out. I think I need to use him. So now the question becomes, what paper do I use? I could use this, but it doesn't match the guy I've got. That's okay. I could use, like it doesn't have to be a Christmas card. That's very Christmassy. I think that's why I originally, well, yeah, that would work. That, okay. Need to get some of that pretty paper, says Jody. Yep. Yeah. Should I make this a Christmas card? I don't think I want it to be a Christmas card though, but I want to use this paper. Dagnabbit. Okay, so I could use this as the background. And then if this is one of these guys, and then I can maybe use this as the foreground, foreground one, but then he's not gonna pop as much. Yeah, no, I'll do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. We're doing it. I'm doing it. Okay, so this is gonna be four by five and a quarter. Five and a quarter by four. This is Pacific Point paper. I'll be surprised if this paper makes it to the next catalog. My my prediction is that we're gonna do a color refresh this year. Uh, Stampin' Up! is turning 35 years old and they haven't had a color refresh in five years. And they said that they would be having one every five, three to five years. So I think, and I'll be surprised if the Pacific Point makes it because I don't think anybody uses Pacific Point anymore. I don't know. Do you? When was the last time you used Pacific Point paper? I don't know. Snowflux are winter, not Christmas specific. True, Barbara. Very true. This could be a bir Okay, yeah, let's make him a birthday card. A winter birthday. Because I have a few friends who were born on Christmas Day. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, for the love of Pete Tamara. Fine, okay, well. I meant to do it the other way around. Maybe I'm going to do two of them now. Okay, so. Eh. Now, what are my, what are dimensions? Where's my, oh, my post-it notes, okay. So, I need, um, cardstock, math, designer paper, two. Two and a half by three and a quarter. So, I'm going to go three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Two and a half. Oh, for heaven's sakes, whatever. Okay, then I think I'm going to do, what should I do? Pacific Point. Gosh, do we even have any out? Let's see what we got here. I got some. Maybe I should do Night of Navy as an accent. Do, 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 do. Is that too bold? I don't know about that. See. Maybe I'll do white as an accent. Hmm. Nope. Let's do pool party as an accent. No. Bashful blue. Or whatever this is called. What's this one called? Balmy blue. No. What? What's this called? Balmy blue. Oh, I don't know if I like that at all. What should I do? Um, oh, you take that back about old olive. Misty moonlight. Oh, that would be heaven. Hey, gray, gray. Yeah. I'm not loving this. It's too light. Don't you think? Soft sea for a How about a gray, a dark gray, light gray. Hmm, don't love it. Ah, Blushing Bride. Yeah, that can go. I don't like Blushing Bride. Um, maybe I'll just stick with blue. I'm, I'm, uh, when in doubt, stick with, the, what did I say? Pacific Point. Let's just see what this looks like. Let's see. You can always change it, right? This is how my desk looks like it does. All right, so this is what? Two and a half, so two and three quarters by three and a half. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Jennifer. All right, fine. All right, and then this uh, needs to be two, and seven eighths, two and a half, two and seven eighths. I don't like this. I, it's too. I want this as the background. Four. Five and a quarter. What is this? What's going on here? Is that? Let me get another card here. Because then the blue will pop better. Where are you? Stop it. Where's my tape? Ah, it's chaos. <gasps> Barely banana. Goodness. You hold a grudge, Jennifer. You like that one? See, I liked um, certainly celery. That was my favorite green. I like that one. Okay, now this is going to go like this. And this is going to be what to... Two and a half by three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Paper's flying everywhere. Two and a half. Like that. And then, do I have the other? This one. The white, hey? Hmm. Gray might look better now. Hmm. No, it's not quite right. One of these. What is this color? What? And so it begins. The white doesn't work here now, eh? All right. Well, let's just see. What was I? Did I get my white piece? Uh, no, what's the white piece supposed to be? It's supposed to be uh, two and a quarter by two and five eighths. Two and a quarter. Oops. Whoa. Whoa. Two and a quarter. That didn't go well at all. Two and five eighths. Okay, so if there's that. My paper go. What the heck did I just? Where'd <laughs> uh, you go? Let's see it. <laughs> um. Hi. Where are you? Did I just cut it? No. Where did it? Okay. What? See, <laughs> I'm so busy flinging papers around. Uh, oh, here it is. I'm here. How to get over there? Jeez, Louise. All right, let's just see what this looks like. Oh, love the hunter. Yes, hunter green. Yes. Yeah, thanks, Barb. It actually went that away. <laughs> we'll do this and see what happens. I think it'll work. Probably should have stamped it before we're doing anything here. All right, where's Mr. Gnome? Where'd you go, little buddy? <laughs> okay, and what are we going to say? Warm wishes. Do that. Let's see, now he is, he needs to go on the white. So that he pops a little bit more. And then, you know me so well, warm wishes. I think he's going to have to have a sentiment. He's going to have to, uh, okay, so this is going to pop up. The sentiment's going to have to pop up because it just is. 
All right, if I wear my pokey tool, here we go. It's chaos. Oh my god. Oh my god. Armagers. <laughs> ah. Pokey, there you are. He's always under my computer. It always likes to roll under there. Okay. All right, let's go with this. I need to use this more often, like this paper and this gnome. Like, there's so much stuff to use in so little time. All right, so you guys know there are a bunch of specials on right now, right? Weekly specials. There are also, um, I'm just going to, I folded his hat down because it looked weird poking up so straight. So I'm going to glue dot him down. Um, there are weekly specials. There are also the dies available for the perfect pairs, like to the, there are dies now for the pigs and the fresh cut flowers and the waterfall and all the things. So he's going to go here. Should I pop him up to on dimensionals? I shouldn't, but I'm going to. So there is going to be a trick for mailing him. I have to remember so that Heather can jot him down. So this is going to be like this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna. I want to get this done within the time span. So I am going to do, 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 find the scrap. Find my point. Um, you're not Jennifer. I'm. I'm on the fence on this one. I think I would have liked some different sentiments. Um, and I think they could have, I, I like this guy. This one I find a little weird. This one he's peeking. I've, these two are cute. Uh, but in the paper, I think I've had this conversation. I find them a little bit weird. Like they're a little creepy to me, but, um, you don't have to like them. It's not necessarily about, uh, what you like either. I, I've got so many friends who love gnomes, so I buy them to send to my friends. So, all right. So I've stamped the You Know Me So Well, or any of the others, Your Kindness, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, uh, Warm Wishes. Like there could have been more gnome play on the, on the gnome thing. So I'm just going to snip these apart. can hear my daughters up there. They're meal prepping, which is probably what their mother should do. But you know, they're 19 and 16 and you. Oh, I think I have a bit of a headache right now. Gnome. You know me so well. Oh, I should have put I could have put a big uh, snowflake behind him, the iridescent snowflakes. Hi, Kathy. Yeah, you know it's not uh, it's not so much me, but I've got a number of friends who are gonna squeal when they get this card. So you know me so well. Now I have to figure out how that's going to look nice. You know me so well. You he looks. Um, I made this his beard out of our um, out of our paper that is uh, velvet, velvet paper. And so now it just looks kind of dirty next to the white. So I'm not loving that. All right. Now this, I guess I'm going to have to use glue. Eek. There you go, Dana. Okay. So this one, I could use, you know what, mini dimensionals if they're small enough. I think they are. Yeah. Only just, okay. I still within it's 755. Okay, hurry up, Tamara. 
All right, so I'm going to teach you um, a way to mail these if they're too thick. Hang on. Can't tape and talk. fingers. So he's going to be a little bit thick to mail. So my Tamara's tip for that, there are a few ways you can do it. That's right, Kathy, you're right. Um, yeah, Stampin' Up! needs to keep it varied for all the people, right? You know me so well. There we go. So you can jazz it up with some bling, some jewels. These guys, uh, I don't know where my other tool is, so that's fine. I'll just use. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not using this. Wait. Because I've realized I have three packages. Three. I don't know why I have three. But I do. I've got three of these. Any of them open? No. These coordinate with this suite, so... That's what we're going to use on this guy. Ah, oh, Jennifer, great minds think alike, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do one, two, it's a little subtle. My, um, Oh dear, no, that wasn't placed well. One. Hang on, hang on. There's a method to my madness. I've got to go. <laughs> I have to go big, little, big. Okay, we did it. Seven fifty-seven. Okay. Right. I'm dying of thirst. Where's my water? Here it is. Okay. I'm going to show you now how to. <laughs> How to mail these cards that are a little bit chunkier. So this one's got, he's so cute. <laughs> okay. When you've got a card that's bulky. So this one, it will cost extra postage to mail it. So what I have been doing, where did my piece of paper go? So what I've been doing in the past is I've been folding them this way when I mail them. So that the bow doesn't get caught in the machine. But what I've been doing this week um, instead is I, I came across, oh, have a moment. I came across a stack, like I'm talking a stack of card layers that I cut at four by five and a quarter, this size. So this is your standard card. So this is one layer in. And I used the backing of all of my designer papers because. I might have, ooh, I'm not kidding if I say I probably have 400 of them in there. So I chopped them all up. I've got a, a multi-purpose, like a big cutter, a big, big, a Carl, Carl cutter. Um, that's amazing. So this is like card size. You could also use, excuse me, cereal boxes, um, whatever you've got. But I use the backing of our designer paper and I just mail it like this now. If you want it even thicker, you can go like this. But that way it can go through the machine and it might not get caught as long as it fits through the slot. And I'll show you. I've got a special mailer that is just the size of our uh, the slot at the mail, mail place. So I can then go like this and see if it'll fit through the slot. And it still doesn't. So that's still going to cost me extra postage. But I do like to... Um, protect the envelope so that like brads and thing not brads jewels and that sort of thing aren't poking through the envelope so that one I think I turned it inside out and it still doesn't go through no so that one's going to cost me extra postage but for the gnomes same thing he's a little bit bulky because I've put so many dimensionals on him so I'll mail it like this now 
and it hopefully will go through the slot. Yes, it will. And it's not going to get cut. Caught, not cut, caught. So that's my little Tamara's tip for mailing things with jewels and extra dimension dimensionals. So there you go. Did you feel like the feel? Did you feel the little hit with love? Maybe. <laughs> All right. It is eight o'clock. Look at that. I'm I'm pretty good at hit, hitting this right at eight o'clock. Uh, tomorrow is uh, check it out Tuesday. I have no idea what I'm going to do. But I'm down here most of the day tomorrow. Everybody is away. Everybody's out of the house. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I'm going to get a lot done. Whew, look at that. I'm all ragged now. <laughs> um, thanks, Jody. Uh, what else was I going to say? So register for my card classes if you can. I'm starting to cut this week. So I prefer not to have to cut twice. I mean, I will, obviously. But um, if I can cut once, that's better. So RSVP if you can. Um, now, again, I will take pictures of the cards I created and I will uh, post them. If you played along tonight, please post yours in the comments. I still have two of the pomegranate sets. Anybody want to win one? If you do, pop your, uh, your cards in the comments and I'll do a draw. Do it by 7 p.m. Wednesday night and I will do a draw for the perfect pomegranate set. That was a Celebrations um, freebie. I've got two left, so I'll do a draw for that too. Thanks for hanging out with me. It was good to be back. I will see you guys right here tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Tamara's Paper Trail. Have a great night. Bye.